What if I told you you could train your brain to make better decisions, become more productive, become more focused, so you can achieve everything that you want? All the decisions you have made throughout life have led to the situation you are in now but the things I'm about to teach you could potentially change your life. My name is Yasin. I spent 10 years working in the NHS trying to help people walk again, but also build their confidence. Now I help men achieve their full potential. So why is making decisions so hard? The problem isn't the decision, it's the decision making process. One thing we don't realize, making decision takes energy. We only have a finite amount of energy throughout the day. And if we waste that energy on making small decisions, when it comes to making that big decision, we don't have the brain power and the energy to make the right decisions. That's why today we're gonna to look at some ways how you can make better decisions with confidence. Plan. I never thought I'd be this type of person, but this is a real hack to making better decisions in life. We waste endless amount of time on small, non-important decisions because we've never been taught how to prioritize and make the right decisions. By taking all the small decisions out of your life, when it comes to making that bigger decision, it will be a lot easier. Small decisions like what you're gonna eat throughout the day, what you're gonna train in the gym, what clothes you're gonna wear, what time you're gonna see your friends, these may not seem like big decisions, but you've got to remember these little decisions are taking energy away from your body. You have to remember you only have a small amount of finite energy and you have to preserve it for those big decisions. That's why you have to start to plan your day. My day starts the night before. I never thought I would be that person, but here I am. Before I go to bed, I'll start to write down all the things I need to do tomorrow. This allows me to get up straight away, be productive and not waste any energy or time. By writing things down, you're more likely to take action. This is backed by science and trust me, this one hack works. If you suffer with procrastination, you should start to write your task down. So last night, this is what I wrote. I'll put the date at the top, so the 18th, which is today. When this video comes out, it'll be Tuesday, so the dates won't align up, but you can see exactly what I've wrote. Wake up at 7.15, work for an hour, take a shower, jump on YouTube, record my video, which I'm doing now, have my coffee and protein shake at 10 o'clock, I'm running behind schedule, guys. But that doesn't matter, I know what I've got to do. Once I've finished recording my video, I'm gonna have my coffee and protein shake. My gym and my breakfast is gonna be a little bit later. But I know exactly what I'm gonna eat. Here I put nine raw eggs. I have the same breakfast every day. I don't have to make a decision what I'm gonna have for breakfast. I have the same breakfast every day without fail. Nine raw eggs, it's got all my amino acids, all my protein, everything that I need, and it's quick. It takes five minutes to make that breakfast. After that, I'm gonna do a bit more work, take a break, watch the boxing with Tyson and us, and have a little bit of a date night tonight. Now we've looked at some ways how we can save some energy by getting rid of those small decisions. But what are some of the things you can do when it comes to making those bigger decisions, whether it's buying a new car, changing your job, deciding to stay with your woman? Listen to your gut. Our gut can give us so many warning signs, but sometimes we just choose to ignore it. Then afterwards we say we should have listened to our gut. So why don't we start to do that? Our gut instinct is a combination of things we've seen, but also things we've learned over time. That's why your gut instinct can be a great way to making better decisions. Now, relying solely on your gut is not advisable, but combining your gut instinct with a bit of logic can help you make better confident decisions. Combining your head and your heart. Now, just making decisions with your heart will never lead to any positive outcome. You might feel good in the moment, but afterwards you generally feel crap. But just using your head can take the joy out of making decisions. But if you can combine your head and your heart, you will get a good combination of logic and emotion to get a better decision. Sometimes we wanna make that decision with our head, but our heart's telling us no. Sometimes we wanna make the decision with our heart and our head's telling us no. Why don't you combine them and see what happens? When you combine your head and your heart, you'll get a great combination of feelings and logic to get the best possible decision. Consult your enemy. Now, this is not my favorite way to make decisions, but if all else fails, you could use this one tactic. Just think what your enemy would say, then do the tall opposite. Combining caution and courage. 
By being too cautious, it can lead to a negative. By being too courageous can also be a negative. But combining the two can give you the best possible outcome and the best possible decision. Taking calculated risk is a great way to make decisions. Being cautious just reminds you of all the downsides and the potential losses. But being courageous gives you the biggest rewards. But being calculated gives you the best outcome and the best decision. Now, if you're younger, take more risk. But if you're slightly older and in your 30s, be a little bit more calculated. Anger. Never make a decision in anger. It'll cost you mentally, financially, and sometimes physically. When that mist takes over, you cannot make the right decision. If you're one person who always makes decisions in anger, it will always cost you. There is never a positive side to making decisions in anger. So if you're one of those people that lets anger take over your control and over your mind, you need to find a way to relax. Anger will cost you. So you have to stop making choices in anger. Once you do this, you will make better decisions and you will have a more fulfilled life. Decision fatigue. Just like our muscles, our brain can get fatigued by making small decisions throughout the day. So when it comes to making those bigger decisions, we find it a lot harder. In a recent case study, criminal cases heard in the morning were more likely to be given parole than cases heard in the afternoon. All cases were of similar level, but judges were less likely to give parole in the afternoon. When you've been making big decisions all day, the same decisions later on in the day can just seem harder. We all have a limit of decisions we can make throughout the day. Once you hit that limit, there's no coming back. So start to do these things to reduce your brain fatigue. Simplify your day. Limit your daily decisions by planning your day. Spread out your tasks over several days. Understand not all decisions are important. Don't let your emotions control your decisions. Define the root problem before making a decision. Try to identify the real problem. This means looking beyond the obvious things. Write things down. This can activate your brain to make better decisions. Sometimes you just have to step away from the decision so you can come back with a clear head. Now, if you're struggling with your self-esteem but also your confidence, you might want to check this video out.